Good morning. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Jose. I'm a part of the college and career ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church. And today's devotion is entitled, God Uses Muddy Water. God Uses Muddy Water. And the passage of scripture is 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 10 through 12. And it reads, And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times. And thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Are not Abana and far, far rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in rage. Naaman was a successfully military leader, but that provided him no protection against the dreaded disease of leprosy. He was facing a life of isolation unto his early death, but a young Israelite girl who had been taken captive during one of his raids told Naaman's wife that the prophet Elisha could heal the leprosy. It was a measure of desperation for Naaman to go to the prophet of God, of a God he did not worship in a despised enemy country, but he went. Naaman journeyed a great distance to see the prophet, but Elisha didn't even come out to talk to him. Instead, he sent a servant with the message that Naaman must go to the Jordan River to be cleansed. The general was irate, but eventually his servants persuaded him to comply and he was healed. Many times God does not work the way we expect or prefer to accomplish his purposes in our lives. We ask him for help, even begging and pleading, Yet the help God provides is not attractive to us when it comes. We may be sent to the muddy waters of Jordan instead of the pristine waters of Abana and Fafar. The important thing is that we do whatever God wants. He is looking for obedience and faith, not for us to pick and choose the obedience by which he will work. So the growth principle with this whole devotion is we must trust God's leading, even if his methods are not what we would choose. Let's keep that in the back of our mind also that God is looking for what I said earlier, obedience and faith. Are we being obedient to God and faithful or are we choosing and picking what we want to listen to or what we're listening from God? All right, let me pray. See you Father, Lord, let me... um. I pray you bless this day, this morning, Lord. I pray you bless the rest of the day. Thank you for this devotion. Thank you for um, everybody listening. Lord, I pray that we um, remember what this devotional is about, God, that we can trust you through everything and anything, God. That, Lord, even through the hardest times, even through the best times, that you are the same God. Help us, Lord, grow in our obedience towards you. Help our faith grow. Lord, help our spirituality get stronger, Lord, and help us know that you are the God of ages. Lord, we love you. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us on Renew, a daily devotional for you. And remember our key verse, Romans 12, 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind.